clarification on Yunus and his status. If he plays in the Nations League, either June 3rd or June 6th, he will officially be tied to the United States for official competition. We're going to begin with questions and start with Avi Creditor from Sports Illustrated. Hey, Yunus. Uh, like, like Michael was saying, uh, the WP cap tied uh, and everything coming up uh, it got me thinking about just the, the recruitment process and, and everything going on. Obviously, England had spoken quite publicly about its interest in you. Um, I was just curious if Italy and Ghana had, had reached out as well, and, and if they had, at, at what point, what was the latest point of contact that you might have had with them? All right. Um, yeah. Um... Italy hasn't reached out before, but Ghana, yeah, they've um, they've phoned my parents before, and uh, yeah, so um, Italy hasn't reached out before, but Ghana has. And when when was that uh, the last time? Uh, I think it was when you know the season I started, um, you know, um, people started seeing me. I started playing in first team around that stage. We'll go to Iva Skolarsep from SBI Soccer. Eunice, as far as the role that, that Greg has has had you play uh, in in your in your first games, yeah. what, what, what do you think about the role, and and what do you like about the system and the style of play that that Greg kind of implements in this group? And, and the second one, as far as you and Giorena goes, it seems like you, you guys have a really good understanding and just this kind of natural connection. You know, players have that sometimes with a player where they just click and it just. It just works. What what is it about about Gio that that just makes it you and him just have, kind of have that chemistry? Yeah, I mean, um, every it's, a, it's easy to play with Gio because he's a great player. You know, um, whatever you need him to do, he'll he'll be able to do it, and um, that's what makes it easy to play with him. So you can just give him the ball, let him do his stuff. You know, and uh, we're young players. We're <coughs> we're excited. we you know we want to be excited on the pitch, and I think we both have the same idea of. Playing football. As far as the system. As far as the system, um, yeah, I love it. Um, play, play a dynamic system. Um, Greg wants us to be a hard-working team as well. You know, off the ball, and uh, with the ball, you know, just be exciting, create stuff. You know, um, and uh, yeah, and he's you have you mentioned Gio. He's a player that um, you've seen time and time again do exciting stuff on the ball, and um, yeah, I want to be a part of that as well. So he's a great system. También, Yunus puede contestar en español si es necessary. Okay. Okay. Next, we'll go to Brian Sharetta. Thank you, Michael, and thank you, Yunus. Um, just reflecting a little bit about the, your season with Valencia, it was your first full season as a first team professional player. What did you learn about yourself, you know, the ups and downs of it all, and uh, what does it make you want to achieve, or what do you think is possible in your next? Uh, in your second season uh, with the club at the first team level? Yeah, that's a great question, actually. Um, it's uh, It's been a great season to find out what I'm about um, on myself, you know, playing my first season in La Liga. Um, there's so many ups, so many downs, and uh, you more you learn more about yourself and um, in more the down, down parts, like making mistakes, um, losing matches, you know, being in a spot where you have to win matches. Um, you know, being efficient and uh, yeah, you have to learn a lot about yourself and I think for my first season to play so much, um, I got so much information on how I am and I'm going to look for, look, look to, yeah, I'm going to look to take this information and take it to next season as I played so many games, made so many mistakes, made so many good things and uh, I'm just going to try and improve and improve and take it to next season and have a better season next season hopefully. Next will be Daniel Nora from Univision. Hi, Yunus. Hi. How are your Spanish doing? It's good, it's good. Okay, va vamos a probarlo. Right. Si juegas ante Honduras, sí. será tu, tu primer partido oficial. Mm. Eh, ¿Qué te han comenzado a decir sobre los rivales de la región? Porque Honduras es uno particularmente fuerte para Estados Unidos. Sí, um, hemos jugado ya contra... Con Panamá, sí, y Jamaica, y esos son equipos de CONCACAF, puedes decir, y sí, creo que estos equipos son físicamente poderosos, um, son, sí, equipos con gente muy atlética, y para mí, 
Um, nosotros podemos hacer muy bien contra ellos porque no, no tenemos miedo de nadie, pero tenemos respeto a todos, pero no tenemos miedo de nadie, ¿sabes? Asfortamos cada partido como al final y queremos ganar todos los partidos y es como vamos a afrontar contra Honduras también. ¿Te, te emociona que puedas tener tu primer clásico contra México si clasifican a la final? Sí, ¿Piensas un poco en eso? Sí, claro, claro, estoy pensando eso también. O sea, un, bueno, un partido muy grande con los aficionados de los Estados Unidos ahí, que nunca he jugado con ellos ahí y creo que eso, se, ojalá se, eso va a pasar. Um, va a ser un momento muy especial para mí y voy a disfrutarlo. Next will be Gustavo López. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you use your Spanish. <laughs> uh, you're a very young guy. And how do you prepare yourself to this change of tactics coming to Valencia and then to the national team? How do you prepare yourself for that? Sorry, for the tactics and stuff. Yeah, I guess tactics and, and also the, how do the Greg, how the Greg wants you to play? How do you change your, the, your mindset for that? Um, well, luckily I've already, I've already played the midfield a lot in my career, like as a young player and uh, Yeah, so when Greg tells me to do certain things, it feels natural to me. So it's not it's not too hard, and the system that Greg wants me to play, it suits it suits the way I want to play. So I feel like it just suits me, and doesn't you know? There's, it's challenging, of course, because he wants he wants the best out of us. But at the same time, it's uh, it's helpful, and I can yeah. It does. It's not really hard coming into this group as well. Everyone wants to help. Every coach is helping, making it easier for me. Next will be Sean McCaffrey. It's always great to speak to a fellow native New Yorker. You're yeah. being chased by more teams than I've even traveled to to play for the national team. You're playing for Valencia, it's a great program. Historically, they've turned out some world-class players. How do you feel now coming, now you're coming to play for the US? And how does all this sort of fit together because it's pieces from so many different parts? How does it feel playing for the US now? Right, you come you're from here, you were born here. Yeah. Playing with Valencia, a massive club in Europe, and now you're going to be playing with the US in the next few days. Yeah, um, it feels it feels great to be doing this at my age. You know, it's a it's a dream come true. I didn't, I never dreamed about this. You know, I uh, I always wanted to give my best, and now luckily I'm being able to live my dream, and I'm just trying to do my best, like representing the US, Valencia, and La Liga. Uh, at this age, is just overwhelming, and I'm enjoying it so much. Um, always trying my best, always trying to improve, and uh, yeah, um, it's it's amazing. Like it's, it's something I've always dreamed about, and I'm I'm just enjoying it. Really, that's the that's the best way as well. I'm gonna play if I'm enjoying it. Our last question comes from Ida Scalarset. Uh, you, Eunice, how long has it been since you've uh, been in the United States? And, and have you thought about what that experience is going to be like when you step out on the field in front of American fans for the first time since you made this decision? Because obviously a lot of U.S. fans are super excited that you made that decision. Have you thought about what that's going to be like? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, as I said, um, I can't wait to play in front of the fans, you know, this season as well. Making my debut season without fans, that was a bit annoying. Um, scoring my first goal as well, and there was no fans as well, that was annoying. But Like playing for the U.S. in front of fans, that's that's going to be a great experience. I'm I'm going to enjoy it so much. It's going to be, you know, a, a lifetime experience. And also, like um, obviously, I haven't been back uh, in New York since um, since I was born. So I'm going to actually stay there after the camp and see see where I was born, obviously, and see the area and uh, try and visit some places because I haven't been back since I was born. So yeah. <laughs> 